Hey YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look at this little 124th lemur from FMS. Totally sweet, four wheel drive, high low speed, two drivers, and I don't know if you notice the lights yet, but check this out. On, off, tap the bind button, it'll do it. You've got a little slider switch here for high low gear, okay? So I'm in the low gear right now, and what a sweet looking little creation. There's two drivers in there. You got the co-pilot to help you figure out where the next place you could die is. And then obviously squishy tires, BF Goodrich. Give them a squeeze. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we're gonna just uh, start right here. This is our uh, soon to be pond. As you can tell, it's starting to shape up. Ha <laughs> ha, pun intended. And, uh, but it's not done, okay? There's actually more work to be done, but let's go ahead and see this thing. Okay, I'm gonna reverse first to show you that it doesn't roll down the hill. Camera crew's gonna get really close so you can actually see. And I'm just gonna go in here, four wheel drive style, dirty rocks, guys. Look at this, super realistic realism. And we are at a steep grade going up this stone. Okay, we are in low gear. We don't wanna overspin the tires. And we're gonna bring it up to the top. Oh yeah, that's like 10% throttle, guys. Look at this, not even high centered yet. That is amazing. What a sweet little thing. Now let's see if I can get to that next rock. That would be a quite the challenge. Show them the next rock. This <laughs> is gonna be a crash and bang here. Think I can do it? I will be surprised. Oh no, oh. everybody died. Hand of God coming into play. Okay, so we're gonna pick it up from here. And these are some rocks that they found in this pond dig. And so as you can see, I love the way that the tires deflected. It's so dang cool. And then if you guys get one of these little FMS models, make sure you follow the links in our video description below. Oh, that's so cool. Looking at all the dirt move. And then as you know, I like to turn my steering dual rates up, which is right here, okay? If you press and hold this, there's a minus and a plus. See the steering wheel? I turn it, if you hit minus, it'll back it off. And if you hit plus, it'll open it all the way up. But just to be clear, this has a metal gear steering servo and look what happens when you overdrive. Oh, you see it? It's got a spring-loaded movement. Point at it, camera crew. Spring-loaded, oh here. Look at the top of the servo, the control linkage. Right here, guys. Oh. See what happens? It moves that in and out of the shaft so it doesn't overdrive your servo, okay? So if you turn up your steering dual rates, you're less likely to break things. Now keep in mind, if you sit there and crank on it all day and you go to the left side like that, you're gonna probably still eventually wear it out. But it's still pretty cool. They've thought of everything, guys. These FMS models are getting so dang good. Now I'm gonna go really slow, see if I can do it. I'm actually back up here. Whoa, a little bit aggressive on the backup. Let's see if we can get this thing to tip over and go to that next rock. That would be pretty amazing if I could. So yes, oh yes, so cool. Oh, everybody oh. died again. Evidently Brian's not a very good driver. So there camera crew, on. nah, put me here. We're gonna try to get it from here to there. Oh, really? We're looking at the gap, guys. Okay, so if you're new to Brian Phillips RC, we do really like the ground vehicles. Obviously you probably know us more for the aircraft. Oh no, we finally high centered, but yet I got out of it. Everybody died again, but we love the ground vehicles too. And so mostly screwing around here on the rocks that they found in our pond. We want to show you guys a little bit about this lemur. And we're going to show you since it's 124th and the largest thing in our entire property. So let's go ahead and drive it. We'll just throw it in some more conventional grass, still kind of construction zony. This is full throttle. This is reverse, full throttle braking and then reverse. See, full throttle braking, if you haven't come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. And then there's a giant cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in low gear Low right gear, now, now right? fast, high gear. There's full throttle. Oh yes, we have a great throttle speed. Look at that, going over these big bulldozer marks. You wanna get up there a little closer? Oh, watch this hole here. Oh yeah, amazing. So it's kind of like a basher in the high speed setting and it's like a crawler in the low speed setting. And look at the suspension travel, it's so good. Look at this little bump here. Oh yeah, made it wow. over. 
That's a big hole. Should I avoid it or just go through it? Um. Let's go through it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hand of God's probably. Oh, oh, nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. You see what I did? I hugged a rock, guys. <laughs> this lemur loves rocks, and so it hugs them. <laughs> so we're gonna drive this up and down and just show you a couple of different cool places. So we'll pause. Okay, so we're on some riprap, as you can see. We're gonna go to our slow speed, and we're gonna try to get this thing to crawl on a pile of riprap. This is four to six inch stone. It's gonna be used. Oh no, everybody died again! Evidently the lemur is just too small for our pond project. But guys, this is gonna be used to build a check dam at the top, and that's gonna help keep the silt out, but I cannot believe it's going over this. The cat is looking for it. You see the cat? The cat is in hunt. Oh yeah, watch this. She's trying to figure out what she's hearing. Like it's a, like it's a mouse or something. That is incredible. Okay. So we have learned some of the limitations of lemur. If you do decide to drive this in giant piles of riprap, it may not quite do the trick. But again, we're gonna go to another place and show you how it does. All right, so right behind me, this is where that riprap is gonna go. And they're building a dam right there. That's a small dam, it'll be underwater, okay? So let's see how this thing likes the check dam, okay? Here we go. Oh yeah, in the high speed mode again. And yes, this thing is super capable. And so you can get on and around, and I'm just about like 30 to 50% throttle here, just to kind of keep those wheels from slipping too much. Very easy, good throttle management is easy on this car. So if you're getting this for your kids, they're not gonna be super frustrated because it's actually easy. There's a lot of, I feel like there's some expo going on on the throttle. But even those giant tracks from the bulldozer, okay, I'm going into slow mode or low mode, and we're just gonna walk down this hill that's good enough there. And now, here's the real ticket. After this shadow, that's gonna be a big bump, okay? So here we go, let's see if I can turn around at this flat spot, okay? Oh no, oh no, I don't want the hand of God to have to help. Oh no, oh no, everybody died again, I'll go get it. All right, so the hand of God is gonna help and we're gonna try going back up the same way we came and see if it works. Now this is, remember, this is loose grade, it's very steep. Yes. Okay, it's grade like, it's like this, if you can't tell. And here we go, we're gonna see, we're in low speed, low gear. Okay, so it's kind of walking, I'm missing. I think this is gonna be more symptomatic of loose, loose pack, okay? So I wanna see if I can get past it. Now I'm gonna go to high speed and see how it does. And I love these challenges with these RC cars. That's like what I live for. That and of course crashing them. But the thing is, I think what's gonna happen is, you know, maybe the actual full scale giant, you know, acre sized ponds are a little bit too big for the lemur. Cause look, we're just, now we're gonna, he's gonna have to come back with the bulldozer and fix that hole. But it does really good on level surface. So we'll come up to some level surface. All right, so now some cross country trip. Here we go, guys. This is some dirt. As you can see the dirt, it loves dirt. The four wheel drive is so much fun. Now keep in mind, this is full-time four-wheel drive. It's not like you're gonna turn that off, okay? So you're gonna have to live with how awesome it is all the time, okay? Now, I'm gonna try to go straight. And I love the way this thing drives. It's actually quite easy to drive. And I think your kids are gonna love it if you get them for your kids. But just remember, if you are buying this as a gift for a kid, you need to get one for yourself because you're gonna love it. There are some modifications that you can do that FMS offers, some parts and things you can upgrade, but I don't know that I would upgrade anything until I got this thing and enjoyed it for a while. And then maybe part of the upgrade could be like a repair or something like that. And it does come in three different colors, I think. So if you're getting them hey, for kids. Hey, just stay there, that's good. Can... Okay, so you guys see these bulldozer tracks? They're kind of hard to walk over, let alone drive over. And this thing is doing a great job. Okay, we're gonna take you down to the Spark Y. Oh, come on, get up there. Yes, I have to go up to get down. Now that stuff is alfalfa that's been knocked down, so it is not super smooth. So it's not like city yard grass, okay? Whoa, I hit something up there. Let's see if we can get past. Oh, it's just a stick. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna re reposition up there so you can walk up there now. We're gonna follow this path down to where the Spark Y is, right there, that's good. So you guys can see, I'm gonna go real slow because this is packed by the excavator. 
So it's kind of got a different track style. And I can go full speed, but it's so bouncy. You got to kind of take your, take your time on some of this stuff. You could go fast, but look at that guys. That is a long ways down there. And we're just going to drive up and say hi to the Spark Y. That's an e-bike we reviewed lately or recently, I should say. And there it is guys. So now we're right next to it. There's a pretty <laughs> big bunch of crap down there. And yet this lemur is just eating it up. All right, we're gonna go down and meet it. Okay, so the lemur does it better than I do, okay? This is the side of the hill. I'm hoping I don't fall. But just as you can see, it's kind of hard to just walk up and down. If you're a cat, it's pretty easy. <laughs> but I'm not a cat, obviously. And so if you look down here, these, this area is not smooth, guys. No. They're not done with this pond, not even close. But the thing is, the lemur doesn't seem to care. And yet I still managed to flip it, just like the cat. The cat was just flipped over doing a dust bath. In the dust. So if you guys want to get an amazing, really fun four-wheel drive, soft tires, Metal Gear servos. Oh, by the way, the way you get to the battery, which there is a power switch, there's a battery in here. And what you do is you get your finger under this thing and that thing, and you just kind of pull it and twist it out, okay? And there's your battery. And you've got a 2S, 380 milliamp hour battery. And so that'll work with like all the low C connectors that you've got. So it's just the same as the other FMS batteries. But because it's got a balance charge port like that, you can actually charge it with some of your more simpler 2S balance chargers. Now, to put this back in, it's a little bit awkward, okay? There's a tab forward and a tab backward. And then there's two side clips. This, this one that's wider goes to the back and the one that's thinner goes to the front. So the thinner one goes in like this and you just kind of squeeze it in. You see how I did that? The body just flexes. And that's, I think, how this lemur is gonna end up holding up really good for you is just from the simple fact that it is actually made of this plastic material that can give just a little bit, okay? But underneath, you've got metal gear and metal drives and things like that where it matters. And then balling suspension, lots of travel, very soft suspension, and it's just really, really, really cool. Okay, so if you guys are interested, check it out in the links in the video description below. Obviously, we have been uh, hitting this on two angles today with the pond, so we're gonna walk down here and show you if you guys want the lemur, get one, but we just want to keep you up to date on how the pond's going. We fly over this thing a lot, and it's hard to see it in pictures, but you can see where the bulldozer is. You can see where the little mini excavator is up there, and then show them the house. Those are some trees that we didn't think we'd be able to save that we're, we're going to save, which is really good. And then the dam is going to start there. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Look where the dam is compared to me, guys. That's way up there. And then the dam is over here. So I'm gonna stand in the middle right here, okay? So if you're using the lemur as a scale, by the way, <laughs> this is not all the way deep. Nope. Cause they have to take that whole side of the hill. There's a little flag right up there. That's the water line. And then that's gonna be used for the dam, just mm -hmm. like that hill. So it's gonna be super exciting, guys. We'll keep you appraised of the situation. Come on down here. We'll show them where it re-enters the stream or the ephemeral stream as it is. That's how we're down here without a life jacket, guys. Yeah. Because when you have an ephemeral stream, it just doesn't run all the time. We thought it did, but we were wrong. Um, and right here, you can see where it's gonna come out, okay? Mm -hmm. So there is no dam for which to build a dam runway. Not yet. But it'll be here soon. There's a dam hill. Yeah, that's, that's basically the dam, guys. Yeah. So, and then back there, hopefully the dam gift shop someday. But right now, we've got the lemur, and it's super fun. And guys, if you haven't ever experienced an FMS radio-controlled car, you need to start experiencing them because they are really excellent choices, and they're not super expensive, which is really nice on the family budget. And if you guys are looking for a great Christmas idea, look no further than Lemar. Just remember, get one for yourself and for the kid. Don't just get one because you're going to be super jealous. And the other thing too is nice about this one is it's not so fast and it's not so destructive that you can't drive it inside. So if you're in a northern climate like us and you're hoping for a white Christmas and you want the kids outside playing in the snow, go for it. 
But if it's terrible weather and it's raining and you just don't wanna go out there, that's fine too. This thing is gonna be super fun. If you're the adult and you're trying to think about this for your kids, open the one that you're getting, get the battery out, get it charged, ready to rock and roll because they're gonna to wanna to get into it right away. And by the way, this does come with everything you need except for two, okay. two triple A's. Yep. Two triple A's as usual. It does come with the battery that runs the car, but the thing is you'll have to have a USB-A charger wall adapter to actually charge this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. So USB-A, so the regular rectangular, and then it will charge these. But you can also use some uh, nicer chargers if you have them already for other cars. So that being said, really good choice, FMS. This thing is great. You're doing a good job on these cars. Keep them coming. And if you guys wanna support Brian Phillips RC, as we've said a million times before, check out the links to these things in our video description below. And when you buy from those links, you'll help support us financially with small commissions from our affiliate companies that we work with, like FMS, they're one of them. So that's the best way you can support us. There's also four other ways if you're curious. Number one is pay Patreon, that's a monthly support offering. And we already have about 40 to 50 of you doing that. Thanks if you're one of our Patreon supporters, that also gives you a little bit better access to me for comments, because it's so hard to keep up now. Um, and so that's one way you can get a hold of us a little easier, but that is not a listed benefit specifically. Yep. We cannot commit to it, otherwise people overseas have to pay VATS on everything they donate, which is ridiculous. So basically the governments wanna take your money and take it for themselves, which is almost as bad as YouTube members because they take a pretty good chunk for themselves, but you could do that too. And then YouTube super thanks, same thing. And then of course, PayPal for one-time donations. But really at the end of the day, the only time we list these things off is because we want you guys to know how you can support us if you want to. Google is fighting us right now on links. So if you look down below and this link doesn't exist and yet you'd like to buy one, all you have to do is go to brianphillipsrc.com, which is our website. So it's spelled with eyes, as you can see from our channel. Look for my little face. It'll say Brian Phillips RC right there. And when you spell that, you type it in, you press enter, it'll take you there. So it's really easy. Check it out. That's where you can find coupon codes for things like this, if they exist, when they exist, and where they exist. But just keep in mind, we leave our videos up forever, which means when you're watching this video, there may have been a coupon code when we mentioned it, and now it's since expired. And if that's the case, please accept our condolences because we don't control the timing. So that all being said, that should be another reason to click the bell for notifications when you're subscribing to Brian Phillips RC, and that way you'll get notified of all the latest and greatest content in case you see something come across your feed that you can't live without. Also, we just wanna say thank you guys. Thanksgiving is either around the corner or just past. We appreciate you guys. You've helped to fund crazy, insane projects like this. I mean, of course, so is my day job and 15 or 20 years of working my butt off and Megan working her butt off. Megan's the camera crew, in case you guys didn't know. She's my wife of many years. I don't call her camera crew off camera. Nope. Some of you guys have asked that. We used to do it to annoy the uh, worst, worst of YouTube audience ever, yes. which is about one-tenth of one percent. And guys, we just love that you're here with us all the time. We're doing so much content anymore, and we really enjoy doing it. But at the end of the day, we wouldn't be doing it if you weren't supporting us, because at the end of the day, we only have so much house to store airplanes in, and we do love them but it's full. <laughs> yep. So that's why when this is done, there'll be a big old building over there so we can store even more. And it's gonna be amazing. And we wanna bring you just tons of amazing content and all the content of all the items that you haven't seen yet. So you can make a good decision because here on Brian Phillips RC, we don't say the fastest, best, cheapest. That's not what we do. We never have, that's not our style. What we do is we show you what it really does in real environments, even if that means I'm crashing it into a tree, which I do too. Mm -hmm. So anyway, hopefully that answers all your questions about Brian Phillips RC and Lima. So check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back for more. Okay, so I'm down here in the bottom of the pond. Right, here we go, guys. Hopefully I don't die. We just finished filming the video. No. <laughs> That's crazy! It's really hard to get a scale of how big this pond is. This is designed for bulldozers, not road bikes. <laughs> so Brian's driving back up to the house. And you can see just how big this is. 
So there's the pile of riprap that's going to go in the check dam. Then he's going to go behind that. That is the beginning of the pond, basically. Where he is. And this is not as deep. Oh, he's going to go down the side. This is not as deep as the pond is going to be either. Where I'm standing, it's the current deepest point, but this is not as deep as it's going to be. Oh, goodness. That part there is pretty packed, so it's not too bad. Okay. That's crazy from on top of that hill. It's kind of scary. That is way, way, way up there. Do you want me to go up to the top of the hill? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now I'm on top of the pile that is going to be in the dam. You can see the little tree, our little tree pile. Okay. <laughs> so there's Brian. He is basically where the pipe is gonna come out of the dam and then go into our oh, ephemeral stream. It's like riding on the moon. It is really bumpy. So he's at the lowest current point. Let's see if he can make it up out of the hole. <laughs> so he's about at the whitest, what will be the whitest part, right up from him. There's a little red flag. That's the water line right at the back of his tire right there. That is the water line. So then these three stakes, one of those is a grading marker, then three stakes represent the edge of the dam on this side. So he's gonna ride all the way down. And if I can pan back just a little bit, you can see the three stakes over there on the grass. Again, one of those is a grading marker, but the other three, the three on the left, are the center line and then left and right sides of the dam. So right there where he is, is where the pond is actually going to start. So the riprap is going to go in the check dam there. And then the big pile of rocks that we started at is basically the mouth of the pond. So it's really hard to give you guys some scale. So with him riding around on the e-bike, he's going to come around on this other side. We didn't think we were going to save this grove of trees where he's riding right now. But I think we're going to be able to. And I'm hoping he's not going to ride down this side, but he might. So there's the dam right there. So that's where the dam runway is going to start. That's a long ways there. It is a really long ways. I'm going to try and walk over to the marks where this side of the dam is. So are you at the top of the dam marker? Yep. So am I. That's the top of the dam. The pink, the pink one. So that's the right side of the top of the dam. So that is where the dam is going to be. And then all this dirt that came out of the hole is going to end up back in the hole. And then whatever comes out from underneath where the bulldozer is sitting, they'll take more of that out to shape the water line and then that's all gonna end up in the dam too. Pretty amazing.